Hello my delicious friends. My Samsung T200 broke the little um, lamp in the corner. I hope I can show this off without too much of an effort here. Uh, to show it here, this um, power light was blinking like blip, 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 and nothing else happened. And I will now show you what is wrong with this thing, um, with opening up this thing, uh, the casing and everything else. Um, what you need to repair this um, error is a soldering station as you see that there. So some screwdrivers like these and actually two bigger ones I haven't out yet. These are somewhere here. Anyway, that part you can do with knives or whatever as well. And then you need things. Where have I put those? This kind, but I'll show you more about this in a second. Um, anyway, what you have to do first to open the casing, it's um, nearly the same with the T20, uh, 222 and 240 from Samsung. It's basically the same um, principle, it's just a bit of a difference there. Um, most problems I had, by the way, I learned this job um, 10 years ago and I did this a lot, but it wasn't easy. Anyway, um, you have this closed up. This is all pressed down in that case and you have two screws down there. And it usually starts out with like this. It's just an in here somehow. Yeah. So press it together and then you can just press it in here. And this is the stand. What you have to do is pull really hard on this stand. I had problems getting it out. I thought there were screws in there or something. There aren't any, at least not with the two, two, T200. And just pull this out and have this in your hand. And you get out these two screws here. There are little um, arrows here as well. Um, you probably cannot see it. Nope. Get them out and then get your screwdrivers or knives, like kitchen knives, not sharp ones, please. Don't hurt yourself. And you have here two little and on the other side as well. You can see it better. Oh, it actually broke these apart. Whoops. And push it up all the time and just work your way the front there are more of them I broke like two or th two or three of them they do that because it's easy to assemble it's annoying to repair these things in that case but whatever then you get this apart and then you can actually see here where are they where they are put together uh, here are the sides I, I probably cannot see it this um, Schnappverschluss in German here here and here that's uh, holding together Next, what you have to do is first off put your stuff away because you can hurt yourself otherwise, or the camera. Um, these two screws we already loosened up, obviously. There are no other ones I can remember. Here, like this, it fits. <coughs> so you can just put this, but oh, dear God, no. There are lots of little things here you have to pull apart. Please remember where you put it. If you have to mark it with a mark or whatever, please do that. Because you have to order the um, um, it's, uh, condensators, electrolyte condensators, to repair this thing. And I can pull this up, but oh no, this is very hard to see. You have here a little connector, at least in this case. It might be a bit different for the other two models, or three, or the entire um, model, model reihe, whatever it is in English. I have no idea. And then you can do this. Oops, there goes my peps. And now the fun starts. But this part, whoops. And I have not uh, put this in correctly because I just tested this and then decided to make a video about it. This is in like this. In the case of the T200, I have a little thingy here. Now oh, it's still on camera. And this goes like here. And if here's a screw, wait a second, I show it here, screw, there, screw, and up there. Take these out, remember which is where because they're different sizes. And then we cannot take it out yet. And this is, by the way, what we need. This is the um, power board. Power board, but sounds funny. Anyway, we have to take out this as well. Ah, come, on. come here. Come here. <coughs> Easy as it sounds. Ah, Jesus. 
Or maybe we should start on the other side. We have lots of little connectors here. Oops, cannot see my arm all the way. The annoying part is to later put it in again. You have to press it, cause your little uh, push buttons on top of it. I have to probably zoom that in. Uh, so you have to, I have to uh, push up with my, my finger here to get it out. Up, up, there we are. Stop resisting. And then we can take out this. And push the whole thing aside. And now it's the tricky part about condensators, electrolyte condensators. Um, I have um, the caput ones. No. I need a better example. And it will probably not be possible to see on camera actually. But I will try, nevertheless. Maybe zoom in a bit. Yep. Zoom in on the thing, and then you can maybe see it if I hold it like right here. And you see it better if I do this. You see it? On this one I have in my hand here. There's a little bulb like this. And you can feel that difference if you put just your finger on it like this. You feel the entire face of the condensator in your hand, like a, a circle on your finger. If you do it like with this, you put your finger on. Ah, it's really hard to show. You just feel the point first. And that's how you see this thing is wasted. And it happens after a while, like this thing is uh, would build in, was it 20? Somewhere I have a, uh, I think on the casing, 2008 or something, or 2009? Yeah, nine. It's basically a uh, nine years old thing. And after a while, uh, the condensators just give up. I tested this, by the way. I built in the new ones. In my case, the Wasted one, where and I um, have to zoom out again because otherwise we'll just see that shit here and show that off for a second. Um, two of this kind, ah, where we are. Of course, the light is on the other side, which is um, kind of dumb right now. I have two kinds of uh, condenser was uh, destroyed in my case. You um, let's solve them out and you can see it reaches 16 volts. 1000 microfarad and the same thing I can actually see them with the sizes now these times two by the way and the other one is uh, ah come on focus 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 anyway it's uh, 25 volts 470 microfarad and the ones you can see here in blue. These two were odd and wasted and these two were. And what happens, by the way, is that people tell you these things are kaput, wasted, destroyed, whatever. No, they are not. Perfectly fine, this thing works. I will show you uh, after the next cut, which I totally plan to do at some point. Um, it could be that you uh, want to re um, remove the other ones as well because they might give up at some point. But these were the ones. Really old, not working anymore. They lose capacity and therefore this, the power source obviously. Um, it's a Schaltnetzteil in German. Um, I have no idea how to translate that actually. Um, a power source reacts to demand basically and it um, gets here the uh, 200 something volts so that's actually the thing now it goes in yeah here <laughs> obviously i'm a blind motherfucker anyway it goes in here and transforms this into um the electricity it's needed for the board uh, here here and so on and so on and what then happens at the end here is yeah it doesn't work anymore it's not a good um wave or whatever this thing desires to have and then your monitor says oh there's something wrong I better not start up entirely and do the blinking thing and now let's put this thing together and show that it actually works 
See you then. Uh, before I um, show that the thing actually works, I have some tips for you um, for soldering this thing. I only have a soldering iron thing to heat it up and uh, kind of add and not um, these pumps or whatever you can use this um, uh, litze, whatever the name for that is the um, the grid where it sucks basically up the soldering stuff. Uh, but you can do it without. You just have to. Um, I showed uh, this one here. Uh, just find it here, heat it up, and then heat the other up, and then just put it both over here. That these both are heated up, and then you pull it out. And then with the next one, I will show you one with the um, historic ones. You just put it on, like hold this in place somehow. Put these on the two um, holes in there. Of course, I have none to show. Now we take this. You put it like here, press on it, and heat up the other side, and at some point it just slides in. And that's perfectly fine. You don't need the other stuff. But the thing is, I learned this stuff for like three years, so um, I don't know how to do this without. Um, I, I don't even know the English words for that because at that point I didn't speak English actually. Um, but you can do it. Um, we probably just have to ask someone for a selling station or whatever. That was um, the biggest expense with this. Anyway, we'll build this thing together and show that it works. And there we are. It works again at home. And there's the camera I actually filmed the rest of this stuff with. Anyhow, I hope you um, enjoyed it and it will help you. The condensator stuff helps with a lot of um, electronics, not only um, like screens like this, but um, other power supplies like from PCs even. I repaired a good um, power supply of a PC like five, six years back and it survived another three years. So um, it can really help a lot just to um, replace these condensators. Ah, please of course like and subscribe and uh, share with your friends and everything because it helps out quite a deal. Bye bye.